Fight number six of the evening is a 145 pound MMA bout. Let's meet the fighters. First, fighting out of the Dynamic Mortgage Concepts Red Corner. Please make welcome Colby Brand. All right, fight fans, we're taking it to the 145 pound division. Mr. Colby Brand coming to us at 21 years old. He's going to be the taller fighter at 5'11 versus 5'7 of his opponent, Ty Todd. A one win and two loss grappler as far as his MMA career goes versus Mr. Todd, who's the elder by four years at 25. He lists his style as MMA. What I like about Ty the best is his uh, last name. <laughs> now, you know, in, in, listen, when you, get it, when you get the opportunity and Jeff Cisneros has got AVM coming up here soon at Budweiser Event Center. And, you know, great fighters don't, you, you got to start somewhere. And when you get into this sport, you take fights where you can, you get the experience where you can. And this, or Colby, I mean, look at 21 years old, it looks 18 yeah, it in does. that picture. I mean, I, you and I are looking at, we're, da we're damn old men comparatively, <laughs> but, you know, you get the experience at this venue and the opportunity to fight and gain that experience and, and if you have the talent you're able to earn it and go on but gaining the experience at this level because even the best in the world you look at some of the best MMA fighters in the world you see 21 and 6 you see 22 and, and right. 5 it, it, this is a tough sport to, to be undefeated in it doesn't happen yeah, to, you know, unless you're uh, one of the one of the John Joneses of the world. And now, fighting out of the Larry H. Miller uh, Blue Corner, please uh, make Tom, welcome Ty yeah, I mean, it's, 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 you know, it's very tough to be unbeaten in this sport. It's, yeah. it's, 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 it's odd to, to see, you know, you see, like I said, one guy that you know of, but then there's right. the, the DQs. As, as many ways as there are to win, exactly that many ways yep. to lose. You start getting into the world-class stage of it, and one small mistake is all it takes. And, 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 and again, you look at, at Sparta Combat League and the, the fighters that Jeff has found here that have moved on, and, and even the, the fighters that are still fighting for Sparta Combat League that's going to be fighting at AVM. Right. And... and, and We've had some great headliners. Yeah. Yeah, and, and at that level, you're literally talking. A train know, coming up for yeah, a fight. Yeah. A, a tap out is a matter of a couple of degrees. Do you have the right angle on that arm bar by two degrees? Right. And a knockout is parts of a second and, as and, far as whether or not your timing was right or wrong. And if you have that submission hold in, but it's not in the right way, are you wasting energy exactly. trying to do it? So then the next round, you spent that energy yeah. and you're susceptible. So it's it's not, there's so much science to it that, that it, when you watch the sport that sometimes you don't appreciate. Well, speaking of the sport, we got both guys in the cage. Todd, we're going to have a fist fight. Fight like number that. six of the evening is presented by Larry H. Miller Nissan 104th. It's time to meet the 145-pound MMA fighters first. Fighting out of the Dynamic Mortgage Concepts Red Corner. Representing Victory MMA from San Diego, California. Please make welcome Colby Brand. And his opponent, fighting out of the Larry H. Miller Blue Corner. Representing Montana MMA from Emigrant, Montana. This 145-pound MMA bout is scheduled for three three-minute rounds. Referee is Oscar Martinez. Speaking of guys in the UFC, so referee Oscar questions? Martinez cornered um, Any questions? his questions? fighter out of the Colorado Muay Thai Academy, Drew Dober, ah. just uh, about a week ago Congrats. in Nebraska for the UFC. Place, so we got the fighters going to the UFC. we got Colorado Jim's going to the UFC. 
And here we go. Flag style yeah. trunks being worn by Mr. Good. Brand. Nice. There we go. Good. Good Todd race. wearing the Good black race. and white. Yes. Yep. Todd coming uh, from Montana nice. again. Good. You know, Good. guys from Montana are tough. <laughs> you know, I learned that from Sonny Lubick. You know, Sonny Lubick told me one time, Sonny Lubick said, listen, we didn't call shotgun. We fought for it. <laughs> nice. Breathe. Rotate that. Rotate that. So immediately Todd with his back pressed against the cage. Brand doing a good job with his head and shoulder pressure. Yeah, putting some pressure on and trying to wear him out. And, and, and getting those knees into the thigh as well. Good job. Look how strong you are. There you go. Using that strength to shove Brand up against the cage. Brand's trying to get that takedown, but unable to really get control. Oh, nice up. uppercut there that you saw. Colby Brand able to get a little kind of uppercut there, right? Brand, Brand working from the top now, going to work with the ground and pound strikes. Todd off of his back, trying to set up a submission. He's going to want to try to pull that that uh, excuse me left arm through. And yeah. he can get, you know, uh, arm the bar. There it is. Arm. Look out. See if he stretch out. Great defense here being shown by Brand. That's exactly what he wants yeah. to do is step over. He needs to bring that right foot all the way over. Yeah, I agree. He was in some danger there, but there's some great it was defense because he had that arm bar and still does have it. Now that he brought that foot over, he can bend his elbow and yep. feel safe about things and get out of things. Now he's back out of trouble. Good job by Todd staying committed to the submission, but like you said, can't burn up too much energy. Right. It's one of the primary things in in jiu-jitsu is knowing when to bail out. When are you wasting energy? Absolutely, that's a great point because when you waste that energy, especially in a sport like this where it can turn, you gotta save something for when you when you need it, especially in a close fight. Brand, nice job getting both hooks in, setting in the rear naked choke. Had the rear naked yes, choke go, locked yes. in. There it is. Sweet. 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 That's it. That's it. The fight's going to be over. That's the referee over. stopped it. Congratulations. Mr. Colby Brand going to go home with the victory. And he is out of victory MMA. Looking good in the cage this evening. First round, rear naked choke. Yep, the rear naked choke. Check out that sportsmanship we're seeing right now. You saw him get it that second time. He, he tightened it up that second time Not through. And once he get it that second time through, he really put he really put it on tight. Yeah, Todd did a nice job of turning his shoulders to escape, but basically he turned into the choke from the other side. Brand was ready for it, swam that arm underneath the chin, and there it was. And we're checking it out here on the replay as he starts to set the choke with the right arm. Todd can feel it coming. He knows what's happening. The right thing to do is to try to get your shoulders to the mat and turn, and that's exactly what he does. It just turns yeah. out his opponent was ready for it, made just the slightest mistake in lifting his chin, and right there to capitalize yeah. was Brand going to go home with the victory this both, evening. Both hooks were in, and, and, you know, when you get... And we had a submission, you know, Todd had that submission prior as well. All right, here we go. Butch, uh, gonna give us the official word. Both fighters had an opportunity to end the fight with the submission. Had At two minutes, 14 seconds of round number one, referee Martinez has caught a stop to this fight, declaring your winner by rear naked choke submission, Colby Brand. Back with a post-fight interview with Colby and Bailey in a moment. So the youngster picks up a victory. Yes, sir. Going to go home with the win. That's going to be a nice car ride home. And uh, take just a second here to get a photo. And then they're going to go over to Bailey Winters. She'll give the post-fight interview to Victor Goats the Spoils. Victory, I mean, I don't, you know, these, these cell phones get tough to figure out how to watch <laughs> JR. Rear naked choke. It's your winner. I'm back here now with your winner, Colby Brand. Colby, you won that fight pretty quickly. Um, most of it took place on the ground. Was that the game plan going in? Uh, most of the game plan was to go onto the ground, but I always want to show up anything I got. All around game is what my plan is. Um, What's going to be next for you? Do you plan to fight again sometime soon? 
Uh, as soon as I can, as soon as my coaches let me, as soon as I feel good, just as soon as I can. <laughs> you ended that fight pretty quickly. I'm, I'm assuming you're not walking away with any inner, inner injuries, no damage. All right, well, we expect to see you back again soon. Congratulations on the fight tonight. Anybody you want to thank? Uh, my, everyone back in California, my mom, my dad, my brother, everybody back there. I wouldn't be who I am without them. My friends here in Colorado, my training t teammates, everybody. I just want to thank you, the Lord, everybody, everybody. <laughs> well, great job. Congratulations on your win. Thank you.